And honestly, I don't care how basic it is. It's my happy time and I just love it. I don't care how basic it is. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. Today's video is brought to you by Fat Fit Fun and I am so incredibly excited about this box because this is the fall 2023 Fat Fit Fun box. And even though it we're only into July, just a little bit, and we still have to go through August, that means fall is on the horizon, however far be it away. It is coming, it will eventually come, and the dreaded summertime will be done. Listen, my disdain for summer is like a real thing. I went shopping with my aunt the other day, dressed pretty much like I am now, hoodie, sweatshirt, and she was like, how are you doing this and not dying? It's not that I'm not dying, but this is an act of protest. I don't do summer, I don't buy clothes for summer, so like, I just wear the good stuff all year round. I'm so excited to get onto this box because Fat That Fun of Fall and Winter boxes are my absolute favorite of Fat That Fun boxes. Fat That Fun is a seasonal subscription. You get a customized wall box four times a year. And it comes with full size beauty, fashion, fitness, wellness, and home items. I like the color of this box. It's a nice pink. Like a salmon? Also, if you guys can see all the little wordies here on the inside of the box, Fat That Fun is more than just a subscription box. It's like a shopping club. It gives you exclusive access to member deals and all sorts of things. They have flash sales with top brands that give you up to like 70% off. And all members have the ability to swap their box for shop credit, which I think is kind of fun. But what's even more fun is with my code, you get 20% off your first box of a new seasonal membership. So for the fall 2023 box, for instance, this has a value of up to $300. But if you use my code, you can get your first box for $47.99. Let's get on into here. I did get to customize some of these items myself and I'm really excited to see them. Ew. Okay, the very first item we have in here, I thought this sounded so interesting. It feels really gushy. I didn't think it would feel gushy. This is from Frankenbody and, and it says, imagine a world where you shower yourself in chocolate. This is a cocoa coffee scrub. I thought that sounded delicious. I know it's not for eating, but like, no, it's not for eating. Don't eat it. <laughs> There's a little cartoon of a booty on the back here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It says it smells like cake. That's even better. I thought it was just gonna smell kind of like a chocolatey coffee, like a mocha or something, but apparently this has a cake scent to it. It's an exfoliator for smooth and glowing skin. It has robust, ooh, robusta coffee to buff away dry skin, a cow, an antioxidant packed hydrator, and then vitamin E to soften scars and marks. I just wanna smell it. Oh, looks like smashed up Oreos. That smells really good. That smells like a really, really good cup of coffee. I don't get like the cake scent too much unless it's like a kind of a chocolatey cake scent, like a note in the back, but it just smells like really intense, like well, look how it smells like a black hole. <laughs> really intense, nice coffee and chocolate together. Honestly, if I could put this in my like Keurig little reusable K-pop thing. Coffee pod, whatever they're called, uh, things and make coffee out of this, I would, but that probably isn't recommended. No, there's stuff in here that's not coffee. <laughs> I don't think I'd do that. It does smell really, really nice though. And it has an interesting consistency to it. It's almost like a little bit like kinetic sand or again, just like smash up Oreos. I might. <laughs> so it's not just like a ground coffee mixture. There is definitely some oils and stuff in there that kind of hold it together. It smells so good. It says it's 100% naturally derived. It's not tested on bunnies, which is always very important. It also says there's no pegs. I don't really know what that means. But also no parabens. And this is a waterproof bag so you can keep it hanging out in your shower. It smells delicious. Can't wait for my shower to smell like a giant, just cup of coffee, just a steaming cup of coffee. Okay. Now Next up, speaking of small and delicious, I think this is a candle. I'm really excited. I love candles. Just in general, I love getting candles and subscriptions. Oh, this is from Free People. Oh, hey, okay. This is the Lodge Candle a Bougie Parfum uh, in the scent Palo Santo and Patchouli. It has like cute little trees. It does look very rustic and lodgy. I really like the smell of patchouli recently. We make a patchouli candle for our store and I just, I really like it. Oh, I like the little amber glass as well. Oh, 1809 Lodge is the full name of it. I like the little golden trees there on the cap. I'm excited to smell this. Maybe. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that smells nice. It does smell real good. Oh, that's so warm and inviting. That is definitely a fall scent. It doesn't really have like the standard fall scents that I go for, you know, like the pumpkin spice, <laughs> just like the most basic fall scent you can get. And honestly, I don't care how basic it is. It's my happy time and I just love it. I don't care how basic it is. I love the pumpkin spice, the pumpkin patch, the pumpkin muffet, like anything that you can give me that is reminiscent of fall, I'm gonna love it. And I really like this too. It smells really good. Um, It just has a nice comforting, warm feeling to it. It's definitely not on the sweet side at all. It's a little bit more, not my favorite word, to use but earthy. It's not overpowering at all. It's like a nice soft warm scent. It doesn't say what wax it's made out of which leads me to believe it's paraffin which isn't exactly my favorite wax to burn. I prefer like a full soy candle or like a coconut blend or a beeswax or something like that but um I do really like the container of it. It's very very simple. It just has the little like logo down there on the bottom but I like like the thickness of this glass. It's like a nice thick amber and uh, yeah I think it's pretty very simple. It goes with a lot of decor. I will be burning this probably 
probably eat it today. Um, I know it's not quite fall just yet. Uh, that would be evidenced by the fact that it's like 84 degrees outside and, and not much cooler in here, to be honest. But that's not gonna stop me. That will, no, that will not stop me. I will be burning this very like warm fall, crunchy leaf, patchouli scented, rustic candle in the middle of summer because that's how I prefer to live my life. <laughs> just like completely ignoring the fact that summer even exists. Inside this house, it's always fall. It just is. Next up here, we have a makeup item. This is from Cover FX. It is a custom enhancer palette. That is pretty exciting. I don't know exactly what it's gonna be enhancing or anything, but I'm excited to find out. Latte foam art. Shiny pumpkins. Something about this feels like a chocolate bar. Like as soon as this popped out of the little packaging there, I wanted to like bite it. I don't know why. <laughs> it doesn't look anything like a chocolate bar. Uh, but let's go ahead and open it up. Oh my goodness. That is some sparkle and shine. <laughs> wow, so I guess we are seeing uh, highlights here. They are in the shade Candlelight, Sunlight, and Blossom. They're very pretty, very shiny. Oh, okay. So it says our best-selling custom enhancer drops now in a buildable, talc-free, pressed-free, <laughs> talc-free pressed powder with the same illuminating glow. So I've definitely used the Cover FX drops before in my foundation. You just kind of mix them in, give your face a little bit of a glow. But this one says, use a small taper brush or fingertips to apply to high points of the face, such as cheekbones, cupid's bow, bridge of nose, and brow bone. So a highlight. Um, or it can be used as an illuminating eyeshadow as well. Now, do I even have a small taper brush? Uh, my face is already, I don't know if it's showing up on camera, my face is already, um, shiny. It's, it's pretty shiny. So, I have about 17 layers of different creams, moisturizers, and oils on. And then on top of that, I did put kind of like a glowy foundation and then I set it with highlight. So, I might be a little too, like, extra shiny, but recently TikTok released this filter that's like an aging filter. And, uh, it spooked me real good. It spooked me real good. Because a lot of the people, I swear, like, it only aged them to, like, maybe age, like, 45 or something. I'm looking like the Crypt Keeper. My skin was like barely hanging on to my face. Uh, so <laughs> I've upped my like anti-aging and like skincare regimen just a little bit because of a TikTok filter. Everything I use today, like my uh, foundation has an anti-aging thing in it. I was using uh, retinols, all sorts of stuff. I hope that's not what I look like in a few years. So my face is already a little like frosted donut looking. I'm not sure how well my makeup is like sticking to all those layers of skincare and stuff, but we're gonna try this little highlight here anyway. I wish I did have a tapered brush or just a clean brush would be good. I don't think this is what they're asking for. This is definitely just like a blender brush, but we're gonna try this anyway. Holy cow. <laughs> okay, maybe I should have gone with the lighter one on my cheeks because that is a little bit deep, but gone, it's glowy. Oh my gosh. Ooh, that might have been too much. I can't stop. It's so shiny. Can y'all see like what I'm seeing here? My cheeks, <laughs> they look like neon signs. Okay, maybe just blend it in just a touch, just to go a little bit more naturally glowy. I'm gonna do a combination of the kind of more golden shade and the lighter shade here in the center. Wow, I mean, I thought I was glowy before, but like, dang, that's kind of insane. Oh no. <laughs> I can feel myself going overboard. Oops, oops. Do I look ridiculous? Restraint, restraint, learn what that is. Does that look ridiculous? I think it's kind of fun. It's, I feel really glowy. This is probably the glowiest I've ever looked. I always love that like when your face looks wet and I can never achieve my face looking wet. I feel like this is the closest I've gotten to wet face before. I really like this. This is the first time I've ever heard of this, but this might have to be like added into my everyday kind of makeup. I'll give you guys some finger swatches as well just so you can see all the colors. There's also a complimentary uh, orange Cheeto dust swatch all over my hands, arms, face, body, legs, you know, just everywhere in general. Yeah, they're just so glowy, so pretty. That gold really, really stands out. I had to mix these two together because the gold was a little too deep for me on its own, but like that pink would be so put, 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 pretty as a blush topper. There might just be the tiniest little itty bitty flecks of glitter in them. I'm not a huge fan of like, huge fan of um, large chunks of glitter. But this doesn't have like a really glittery effect to it. It looks very glowy, which is maybe every now and then a little speck of glitter. But I feel like even if you just kind of wipe it off, you're just left with the glow and that glitter kind of goes away. Uh, so fun. Yeah, I really, I really like that. I'm actually surprised how much I like that. Okay, next up, I'm so excited about these. I was gonna wait for these for last, but like, I'm really excited about them. When I saw these in the customization option, I was like, I have to get those. They're so pretty. I have nothing like this in my house. These are from our place and they are a pair of tinted wine glasses. And I only have like the regular, like if you've ever been to a hotel that has like a little kitchen in it, like a full little kitchen, it looks like those wine glasses. Like the most standard wine glasses you can get. Like picture like an Olive Garden wine glass. That's all I have because they're incredibly cheap at home goods. So I have nothing like this and I'm very excited to see them. Oh no, this one has a scuff. Okay, it's just a little scuff on it. At first I thought it was like a scratch and it into the glass. 
I think these are so pretty. They're very interesting colors, so they could almost pull like a little purpley, a little like on the mauvey pink side. Um, I think they're super, super pretty. The bowl of them is very interestingly shaped, so like the bottom's kind of flat. They're not super rounded or anything. They do have a little um, Our Place logo there on the bottom. They feel pretty heavy, honestly. Like I wasn't expecting them to feel this heavy. <laughs> I thought they'd be a little bit more lightweight. I feel like they're a little bit difficult on the camera to see here because there's a lot of stuff like shining through the glass, but um, I think they're super pretty, very unique. Again, just nothing like I personally have. The bowl on these is not gigantic, so if you're wanting to fit like, you know, like a whole bottle of wine in here, that's not gonna be a possibility. But you know, a regular size glass of wine, I'm sure would be perfectly fine in here. Have you guys seen those wine glasses that you can literally pour like an entire bottle of wine into? I feel like I need to get that as a present for my mom. <laughs> Okay, let's try not to break them before I even get a chance to use them. I just think they're so pretty. They're so cute. They're gonna look really cute. I do want to do like open shelving at some point in my kitchen. Um, I have cabinetry, but there's like giant open spaces where cabinets don't really make sense to go because you couldn't physically like, they just wouldn't make sense to go. So uh, we're gonna do some like kind of old looking shelving. And I think those would be so pretty. Setting up on like little wooden shelves. Kind of want to use one. Hold on, give me just one second. <laughs> off-putting color. <laughs> classy. I do actually feel kind of elegant. There's just something about drinking out of a wine glass. Like all of a sudden I want to be like, no. I was drinking my diet Dr. Pepper with dinner out of a wine glass the other night because we didn't have any clean glasses. It almost made it taste better. Same with this. Like I feel like it tastes better out of the glass instead of out of this can. Lovely. <laughs> Maybe I should have opened these last. <laughs> All right, and the last couple items we have in here are the coziest of the items. So first we got a big pair of socks. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> these are the longest socks I've ever seen. I know they said like over the knee socks, but I didn't anticipate them to be like the entire length of my leg. Look, look at that. However, they are incredibly soft. These are super, super soft. They are from Pudas. Lifestyle & Co. sweater sock sizes six to 10. And these are incredibly, incredibly long. But you know, these are gonna go perfect with my basic girl fall boots, you know, over the knee fall boots that you see in like all the little uh, you put parodies, <laughs> the basic fall girls. This would be perfect, this would be great. I have the boots, I have the leggings, I have the long cardigans. Now I have the socks. All I need is one of those like wide brimmed hats and I am, I'm ready. How far do these actually go? Now I have some large calves and some pretty thick thighs. So these might not go up as far as I think they will. Oh my gosh, they're so soft. Oh, but you know what? Even if I don't want to wear them up that high, I could do like the super... <laughs> Sorry, you're seeing my orange legs. The super slouchy, like, sock look. I think that could be kind of fun. These are very cute. I like the color of them. I like that they kind of resemble, like, a nice knit sweater. They don't feel itchy at all, which is very important to me. I cannot stand, like, wool. I just can't stand it on my body. Um, It's just, it's too itchy and I can't handle it. I feel like a lot of, like, wintery fall socks that you see are wool blends, at least, and I just, I cannot stand that. So, these don't feel itchy at all whatsoever. They're super, super soft, super, super long, and I think they'll be really cute with boots. And then finally, last but not least, another very cozy item in here. This is really cute. Ooh, 60 bucks. Okay, well dang, $60 is more than you pay for the, you know, entire box, especially if you use my code AR20 for 20% off. The last thing we have in here is from Timberland, and it is a scarf with just the cutest little pattern on it. I really love this, like, mustard color with that kind of, like, white cream. Oh, <laughs> I was reading the tag on here and it says made from 100% recycled paper, and for, like, just a second, just a moment, I was like, how would they do that? The tag is made from 100% recycled paper. Uh, the scarf is 100% acrylic. It's a nice, just cute scarf. No little tasselsies on the bottom, which I kind of like. I feel like all the scarves I find typically have little tasselsies on, on the bottom. It has the little Timberland logo there on the side. And then, yeah, I think it's quite cute. I feel like it's also not too super big and bulky. I don't love, honestly, things around my neck, like shoulder necks and... Why did I say turtle like the I like turtles boy? Anyway, uh, turtlenecks, things like that. I really don't like a ton of like stuff around my neck. I feel like I can't breathe. But this gives you that, you know, look of having a nice thick scarf on without it being too cumbersome. Um, I like it. I think this is really cute. I feel like this will look really nice with some of like the longer kind of like cardigan thingies I have. I have like kind of cream colored cardigans that I wear like tops under and I feel like this would look really cute. You know, with maybe some tall socks and long boots. While I light my fall scented candles and take my bubble baths and drink out 
out of my <laughs> pink wine glasses. I cannot wait to be basic this fall. It's the little things that make me so happy. Alright you guys, that was everything that I got in my Fat Fit Phone box. I, I did enjoy this box. I really did. I thought that we got some home stuff. We got some like personal care items, some makeup items. We got some fashionable things. Uh, I really enjoy the mixture of having like a whole bunch of different things in one box. That's one of the reasons I really like Fab Fit Fun. My favorite things out of this box, I think, are the pink wine glasses. I really like those. I think they're very different and something I don't personally have. And honestly, like I have a ton of makeup stuff, but this was a really good highlighter. And man, this candle smells really good. So probably the candle, the highlight, and the wine glasses are my favorites out of this. But I don't know what you guys thought about this box down below. Do you plan on getting this box? I think the fall box launches the day I'm posting this, which is pretty exciting. So if you guys want to check it out, be sure to use my code AR20 for 20% off your first box of a seasonal membership. So uh, yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and consider subscribing if you wouldn't mind. It would the absolute world to me. And I just hope you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day, and I'll see y'all later. Bye! Bye.